everyone. So I'm going to show you how to create a test or a quiz on Schoology. So when you're on your Schoology page, you'll go to the add materials, add test slash quiz. And then you'll title it. I'm just going to title it vocabulary quiz. You can add a due date of when this is due. You can add a grading category. I'm going to just do ungraded. You can even choose who to individually assign it to. So if you're not having every single student in your course take this assessment, um, you can individually assign it. You can publish and unpublish. You can see the analytics of it, so all of the data that's coming from it. You can allow and disable comments. So I always disable the comments because I don't want my kids going back and forth. And then you'll hit Create. And then once this pops up, this is the first page to add questions. So all you would do to add a question is hit the plus sign, add question. You have these questions to choose from. So if you wanted to choose a multiple choice, it will look like this. And you can type in your question or you can copy and paste your question um, from um, a test that you've already created or you can actually take a snippet. So if you're a math teacher and you needed a graph, um, you can take a snippet shot of your um, question and then just add it in by hitting the insert content, image media, attach a file and say I wanted to add this. Let's just put this one in there. It'll make it. Then you'll just copy or you'll just click on the picture go to the um, the picture, and then you can do the dimensions however you want and make it customizable. So I'm just gonna do 200 by 200. So it made it smaller. Um, but this is where you can add in screenshots or um, snippets of questions um, from previous tests that you've created. Then you will add in your choices. You can add more choices by clicking the add. You can remove choices by clicking remove the blanks. You can also, Hit randomize choices so that students won't have the same, um, like for number one, students won't have the same number one. It will be randomized. You can allow for partial credit and you can also allow for timed questions. You can change the grading. Um, so if you want each one to be 10, 20 points each, you can change that grading. And you can individually assign or um, align with the learning objective for that question. Once your question's done, you'll just hit create and it'll pop up on your screen. The settings is next. So this is where you can add your instructions for your test or quiz. You can disable or enable, or you can even enable um, until and have a due date for it. And then you can have it enabled from blank until blank. So you can have an, a start date and an end date. You can give multiple attempts for a test or a quiz. So if you wanted the kids to have three times that they can do it, and it would grade by the highest score, the last score, or the average of the scores. You can randomize the order um, of your test questions. So like I was saying, you would have maybe number one for one student would be number 15 for another student. So that's good to help with no cheating. Um, you can use page breaks. So if you have um, if you rather have all the questions on one, then you wouldn't utilize the page breaks. If you wanted to have just one question per page, so it's laid out a little simpler for your kids, you can do that. You can have some language keyboards, so you can change the keyboard um, to Spanish. You can have them be able to review their questions. You can have it if they get kicked out of the test or if they have to stop the test for any reason, you can have it resumable for students. And you can have the students view submissions um, with the correct answers or just view their submissions um, as a whole when they submit it. Um, now, these are for your short answers. So you can allow five blank lines for kids um, when it's printed. And you can also have SA questions. Then you'll just hit Save Changes on what you've done. This is where you will see the preview of your test. So you can actually take the test or the quiz yourself. You'll see the results here whenever you have students. You can see the results um, on your results um, section, but we don't have any students in there, so there's not going to be any results. Um, over here, you can see that it's disabled. So whenever you're making sure that you enable it, make sure that this says submissions enabled. You can view the stats of your um, assessments so you can see what your students um, look like 
um, from a statistical point of view. You can view grading info and you can also edit um, at any time. And actually you can export your stats as well um, to like a Google Excel or to an, um, to an Excel file. So that's just an overview of tests and quizzes. I hope this helps. Bye.